Hello my fellow paint monsters, how are you today? I hope you're doing great. Today I'm reviewing paints from KJ Design by Karen from England. Karen is a lovely person by the way, very helpful and so accommodating. Best customer service I've experienced so far. Today I will be presenting a set of six colors that Karen chose for me and also a bunch of other colors. I mainly chose myself but Karen was kind enough to throw in some colors in the mix on her own. I've got a lot of earth tones, you know I love these, and a handful of blues, and they're all lovely, you're going to see in a moment. Karen does offer shimmery paints as well, so go check her out if you're a calligrapher or a crafter or, or whatever. If you like shimmery paints, go check her out, even though there's only one in this review. Now these first six colors that Karen chose for me are actually some of my favorites from all that I've got from her. The colors are pretty transparent, the English red is just a perfectly muted shade and the Italian yellow ochre and the French ochre light, to me, they really suggest sunlight. Lovely. Perfect for architecture sketches, especially Southern Europe. The burnt umber granulates nicely and the buff titanium is probably slightly more transparent than what I'm used to, but it's definitely not quite transparent. So. It shouldn't surprise you too much. These first six colors also work great for any kind of portraits. These can create some perfect skin tones and I've been having so much fun with them just painting faces. Another color that I really love on this page is brown souffle and again to me it looks like a warm sunny color in a way, you know what I mean? The Red River and Orange Crush, I love how transparent they are. They're lovely. I love how they layer. They're great for layering. Sunshine is a magenta that will probably create lovely mixes with Yellow Taxi and Turquoise Days. I'm definitely going to try that uh, in my next week's video, which is going to be a color mixing video, and I'll see what else I'm going to do. Maybe a little demo, probably some color comparison, we'll see. It's definitely going to be interesting. Now, the blues. Blue Hotel is very intense. To me, it looks like something in between Prussian Blue and Phthalo Blue. Mr. Blue Sky is an ultramarine and is very vibrant. Current ultramarine granulates less than I would normally expect from an ultramarine, so if you're looking for one which offers less texture than typically, for example for mixing purposes, this one is going to be great. Indigo is one of my favorite colors of all, and Indigo Dreams doesn't disappoint. Turquoise Days layers beautifully. It looks like a cobalt turquoise to me. It's bright, it's intense, it's going to mix wonderfully. And now the next three colors are probably my favorites from all of these. Brown World, Molly Brown and Leroy Brown. I'm not actually sure if you're supposed to read it the English way, Leroy or the French way, Leroy. Uh, but anyway, these are amazing. Brown World uh, looks like a violet hematite to me. And the granulation is just perfect. It also works well uh, with glazing. It moves in the water pretty much the way hematites do. And in Leroy Brown or Leroy Brown, you're also going to see the iron particles, the black particles that you see, especially uh, in the dispersion test at the very bottom of the page in the circle. Uh, the black particles, this is iron. So these two are going to create lovely textures. And Molly Brown. It's just such a wonderful warm brown. It looks like a reddish bird sienna to me, but I love how it changes from actual brown uh, towards more orangey and even yellowish tones when it's diluted. And the last two ones, 
Karen was incredibly generous and gifted me a whole half pen of bronze. And I must say it's pretty special. I mean, just look at it. It's got a life of its own. When you put it on paper with a wet brush, the way the particles move, they dance together. It's, it's quite mesmerizing to watch, for me at least. It's very dense, it's very pigmented, incredibly opaque. It's very hard to see the stamp from underneath it. If I were a calligrapher, I'd probably pee my pants over that. And Tropical Pastel Pink? Uh, it's not really my favorite because I'm not that much into pastels and this one is a whitish chalky one. I'm talking about uh, the color, not about how it behaves uh, on paper because it doesn't rub off or anything like that. It's too light really to do a lot of layering with it. It's very nice but it's just not my kind of color. Now speaking of rubbing off, these colors in general stick to paper very well. The only ones that stain a little bit are um, Burnt Amber, Pink Sunshine slightly, uh, Indigo Dreams, Brown World a bit, and you've got to be careful with the bronze because if you put a thick layer of it on the paper it might rub off. It's going to leave shiny particles if you rub your finger against it. You need to be a bit careful with the indigo as well because if you put a thick layer of it on the paper it's going to rub off, it's going to stain. The paint on the paper is probably not going to change visually but it's going to stain uh, the neighboring page of your sketchbook. If you're worried about this you can use a fixative over it. Overall I think these paints are really well made. They're pigmented, they create lovely textures, the one that are supposed to. The shades and how they go together, they just work well with one another. Now when I'm talking to you, I just can't take my eyes off the English red and the brown souffle. I just keep glancing at them all the time and the brown world. These really are some of my favorites. So if you haven't tried the paints by KJ Design by Karen, you should definitely give them a try, in my opinion. I'm looking forward to playing more with these. Hey folks, that's all I've got for you today. Next week there's going to be a color mixing video featuring paints by KJ Design by Karen and maybe a small demo painting, but I haven't decided yet. Make sure to visit Hungry for Paint on Instagram on Wednesday to see a sneak peek. And after the next week's video there's going to be a text review of these paints on Hungry for Paint blog. If my videos are useful to you, consider supporting Hungry for Paint on Coffee. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next week. Bye!